Now that you have cut out your feather shape from your painted paper and you've completed your planning sheet, it is time to begin. The first thing you're going to want to do on your paper is get your name on your paper and you can pick whatever side you want to write your name. Remember we want to use either the white or the black china markers to add all of our designs. So I'm going to go with white for my name and I'm going to start down here and I can see this line where the center of the feather is. I'm going to start there and I don't have to press down very hard and this makes a nice white line. And I'm going all the way to the edge of the feather. I'm taking my time. I'll leave a little space between my name. As I get closer to the thicker part, my letters are going to get a little bit bigger. I just continue to draw from one edge to the other. I am using all capital letters. You can decide how you want to make your letters. They don't have to be all caps. It does make it a little bit easier though when you're trying to go from edge to edge. My E, I'm going to draw a line at the top and at the bottom. And I'm going to do the same thing for the L so that you see the whole letter. Now I have some room <coughs> to write my class code. So I can write that wherever I would like. And I think actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line that will become a pattern. So I have one space that's a little bit thicker and I'm going to put a closer one on both sides. And inside that shape is where I'm going to draw my class code. 2D dash T for Mrs. Diaz Tegan. Now that I have my name finished, the rest is kind of up to me on how I want to do my patterns. Now these are the, some of the patterns that I came up with. Remember you want to do a pattern that has two or more elements. I can use those or if I want to, I can come up with my own. So I'm going to, I seem to have a lot of white already, so I'm going to do some patterns with my black. And I think in this space here, I want to continue with this kind of a pattern, but I'm going to put a circle in between. And then I make my curve line go in and out. And to repeat this one, I'm going to do two of them. And then I'm going to have a circle here. And then my line's going to go out and in. And again, I'm going to do two lines. You can also think about coloring in some of these shapes. So maybe because I have the white lines here, I'm going to color this line in so it's thick. I'm just taking my time. I'm not pressing really hard but I want the white to look solid, so I'm going over it a couple of times. And maybe I'll continue this with the white inside the black over here. You wanna be a little bit more careful when you're doing black within white, cause it can make, if you mix over it, it will turn it gray. So I'm just carefully filling in those white areas. And then I can go back and fill in this with my black one. And I think I like that part, so I'm going to actually outline this here so it looks the same. And this reminds me that I should probably do the white first and do the black later because now it's not blending or smudging. So maybe I'll continue this all the way to the L. So I'm going to do some black dots. 
And now I'll draw my lines with white first. Fill this in. Then go back and outline. And I'm going to do this all the way across. This side's almost full. Now I got to work on this side.